Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about our future project. We're going to be making a hand-linked chain. And this will we'll go over some of the basics of wire work for this project. Um, if you have some old beads around, uh, you, know, you might want to use them, some of them. You won't need many, maybe like 10, not a big deal. But if you don't have a bead, that's okay because we can make kind of a coil and use that as a bead. So here I you did it with this. And I'll show you how to, we're going to talk about how to make that first and some of the pros and cons. You can not use a bead at all and you'll get some a link that looks something like this. But you'll see that the two ends come together and it has a little spot. So I think a little something, a little something in there uh, kind of gives that little coming together a reason. Otherwise, it kind of looks like it's a little unfinished. That's me. You you can decide. Okay. So um, that said, I'm going to show you, talk a little bit about making a coil. All right. So I have a few different coils that I pre-prepared. And um, I would suggest just going ahead and using the copper copper uh, 18 gauge. In your kit you also have a brass 18 gauge and a nickel. I found that the nickel was really pretty hard. On my own work I use sterling and it has the density and softness like copper but um, nick, bronze, brass, Nickel are much harder metals, so um, just kind of keep that in mind. Okay, that said, um, I used, I created my coil using a 55 drill bit. And if I recall correctly, that's what it was included. 